Welcome back. Hi, it's Martine Crippen. I'm a makeup artist with Saint. And this video, which is part two of a three-part series, is on contouring your face. This is something I never did before I started using Saint makeup. I tried it like one time and my face looked dirty. It was weird. I had no idea how to do it, which was clearly based on my results. I'm going to teach you how to contour your face completely and your nose. Yes, your nose. Okay, so what we want to do um, is give dimension to our face. We want to define cheekbones and we want to give a 3D effect to the sides. The brush I'm going to use is Saints Detail Brush. These are my two colors. I have these two right here. One is a warmer olive and one is cooler um, henna. And so today I'm going to be using the warmer one. Now here's how much I need. I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to go one, two. That's it. See, it's hard to tell. Clean side. Now, where do you put contour? Well, lesson 101. Look at your face. Feel your cheekbone. You see it there? It starts here. Okay, here's mine. Here's the top. This is above it, on it, below it. I can feel it and then it kind of goes away. It goes away here. So I don't want to contour from here to here. That would look dreadful. I'm going to contour here basically. I'm going to go in about an inch and a half. So I'm going to find my bone and I'm going to push this up against my bone here. I'm going to go back and forth. Can you see that? There, and I'm gonna go down a little bit. It's very subtle, which is what we want. Very gently, kind of curve it up. I just cut in cheeks. Look at that. Do it to the other side. Again, look for your bone. You see it a little better on that side. And just kind of go back and forth, down. Now, I'm, and for me, they're about the same. Now, I've just cut cheeks in my face. It's kind of amazing. And I'm going to take this. Yeah, I'm going to go like that. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that? Now, why would I do that? That's giving me a three dimensionality down here. And I'm just going to blend. And I'm going to pull it in a little bit. Now, I already put some of a main highlight in here, so I'm blending that into the main highlight. Okay, now I want to cut a nice jawline because this starts to go away as we age, right? So I dug some more. Now I don't want to do what I just did there. Let's get it on the face. And that's the beauty. Make a mistake, wipe it off. I'm going to go under here. Can you see where I've just cut myself a jawline? I'm going to go down. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Go down onto the neck. There we go. I have cut in cheeks. You can go light, you can build up. Now, contouring the nose. Why would we want to contour our nose? Well, we want to add dimension. So for instance, I'd like to thin my nose out a little because my bridge is, look how big my bridge is, it's kind of wide. 
right? So what I'm going to do is try to thin it out a little bit. If you have a really thin nose that you want to give some more volume to, you would highlight here to make this area bigger. I didn't do this the first week. I have to be honest with you. I was terrified. But then one day I thought, I'm just going to do it. If I don't like it, I'll wipe it off. Right? It's not a tattoo. So I take my two middle fingers and I rub them. One, two, one, two. Can you see there? I get the contour on. Now, if you look like this, my nails touch. Do you see that little triangle that forms? I want, I want to put it... First time I did it, I made my nose wider. So I want to make my nose skinnier. So I wonder if I can do it here. Get it here. Okay, ready? Hard for me to see here on this. I'm gonna go down. There, I've made my nose skinnier. You can do them one at a time. I find it easier just to do them both at the same time. I want to put a little bit down here. Okay, now, use that piece of paper I talked about earlier. You're going to take of your, your detail brush. You're going to turn it on and use the clean side. And just go like this. Go up and down. Up and down. Okay. And I like to use the smudge brush just to blend this in a little. And then we're going to come back and use the brightener in here when we go to the blush bronzer brightener section. Don't know if you can tell, but I have put contour on the nose. Okay. That's contouring. Simple, easy. Again, when I'm not talking about it and explaining it, I can probably do it in a minute. Okay, let's go to part three for the blush bronzer brightener. See you there.